Barstool College Football Show presented by Panera. Hashtag Saturdays are for the Mac. It's week six of college football. It's officially October. A couple of us are playing hurt up here. Dan with the back. Me, I'm sick. Dave's trying not to get sick. Tommy, you I look fantastic. Have some, well, I always have something wrong with me, so don't that say I'm not true. playing hurt. But yeah. You're not playing hurt. You're just two hypochondriacs and two injured people. Dan, how's the back? Tomorrow? I feel great. I got a steroid shot. I'm ready to go, ready to roll. To quote Stu Finer, ready to roll. We do so many shows the same day that they all kind of blend together. But I am excited for this college football slate. It might not be the best on paper, but I'm always ready for a Saturday full of college football. You guys have a lot. You're rough and rowdy this week. You've got college football, a lot yep. of things going on. So let's just go right into the weekend preview. We're going to start with number eight, Auburn versus Mississippi State. Tommy, your Mississippi State not looking great. It's tough. It's not it's tough. looking great. I, uh, two losses in a row. Yep. Uh, the Very rankings, bad losses. My top ten rankings. Not bad losses. Yeah, yeah those are bad. They're bad. They weren't good. Florida and Kentucky they were, are both top 25 teams. They were a favorite. In Kentucky, were they not? Did they not finish as yeah, a favorite? Yeah, they were favored in both games, but it. Lost. I think they were minus one <laughs> in we're, Kentucky. They were minus seven in Kentucky. Oh, they were minus seven in Kentucky, favored. and they yes. lost by a lot. I believe they were minus seven last week too, home against Florida. Um, I've been on, betting on them every week. It worked. Yeah, they were. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because I was thinking of South Carolina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, yep. we're building something in Mississippi State. Joe Moorhead, mm -hmm. Andrew Bryner, we're bringing that culture, that Bronx toughness from the Bronx down to Mississippi State. It's not going to take four games, five games. It's going to take a season, two seasons. I reflect on my rankings. You'll see they're no longer in my top two teams, but I do think that they will bounce back at home against Auburn. Auburn's only three and a half point favorite, eighth ranked team in the country. You would think the public's probably going to pound Auburn. I think Mississippi State comes back. Joe Moorhead says, look, we're not done yet. Big upset win. It is Auburn's first true road game of the year, so that plays in your favor. Yep. But my question is, is should they bench Nick Fitzgerald? Before mm. we even get to the other two, should they bench mm. your quarterback? No, but whatever he decides to do will be the right decision. Oh. Trust mm. him. That's a mom. cop out. Okay. Well, fellas, what do you think about this game? I mean, defense travels. Auburn's front seven is going to own this game. Mississippi State's offense is broken. I think this is a classic. Auburn just runs the ball, runs the ball, plays defense, and wins by seven. It's interesting because this game is two teams, and you're gonna. This is now becoming a theme on the college football show, NFL, any any sport that you basically strap helmets on and play with a pigskin. The theme is that I am on the right side, and I'm seeing the board so clearly That's that true. everything I say, that is true. you got to pay attention. The big brain thing. Well, I've just. Who's I'm, hot? I'm seeing everything like Excuse in me, slow Michael. motion. Right. Have you ever seen, um, for example, the movie The Matrix? Yes, I have. When he figures it all out, the bullets are like he are going so yeah. slow. Except it's not bullets. Them. It's like minus seven, minus three yeah. and a half, like minus twenty-eight. Are just going yes. by your face. Over okay. on sixty-one. Yeah. Very <laughs> slow. <laughs> Very slow. Like Sometimes that. it goes so fast you get run over by it and you can't figure anything out. Right now, I can catch them, I can toss them. I knew Auburn would struggle with Southern Miss last week. They did. Uh, I knew Mississippi State would lose to Kentucky at Kentucky two weeks ago. They did. This game is tough. Don't get me wrong, but SEC at night, Mississippi. I don't think Auburn is that good, people. I don't think Auburn is that good. I am just going to take. Their defense is. Well, their offense is really they're... inconsistent. Yeah, too, I agree. But... Their quarterback's not great. I don't trust them. I'm going to take Mississippi at home under the lights. They do a little thing there with those cowbells. Yep. They go ding, 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 ding. It's the worst. More cowbells. By the way, like, it's the Steve, headache. Stingray forever. Steve no longer a Mississippi State fan. He said that. I don't know if you can do that. What you going to do, brother? What you going to do when the Dak attack and Mississippi State comes gunning for you? What? He's well, not a Mississippi just, State fan anymore. I he just, saw him can't come back on Twitter, and he yeah. said he wasn't a Mississippi State fan. Why? What happened? I don't know. Is he Dan, a Dan he Mullen guy? Maybe he was a Dan Mullen guy. Now so maybe he's connecting a the dots. Fan. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. All right. Am I now the biggest Mississippi State fan in the world? Um, Some are saying. Dak Prescott. It's Starkville, right? Starkville. I've heard yeah. that's the worst place in the Stark universe. Vegas. Stark Vegas. Actually, it's fun if you know where you're supposed no, to go. No. Yes, it is. Yeah, yes, it is. No, no, no. Casey no. says that about every no, no, single no, 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 no. If you know where to put no, one, it's on. not the fun. Town, the town is no, not fun. No, You can have fun no, I there. I love Stark. What does that mean? They have no, like if you if you go with people Stark that Vegas. either live there or go to school there, they'll take you to places well, that are more fun. It's not Anthony Bourdain, rest in peace. Like I don't need to see the the back alleys of, of Starkville, Mississippi. I'm just like, saying, just if you want to have town. fun it's there, then you can't. Where, where can't you have fun on a college campus? Name one. Well, I've had fun. University in of Chicago. Campus. Yeah, exactly. Univers there you go. Stark Rogers. Vegas is, is can be fun. Yeah, yeah I know. You like? I like Auburn. I think Mississippi State's really bad. Like no. You can have fun at Fordham? No, you oh, can. Yeah. Oh, you can have fun at Fordham. Tommy, did you have a lot of fun at Fordham? So much fun. They say greatest four years of your life. 
They oh, do say wow. that. <laughs> <laughs> so to recap, Tommy, you're taking Mississippi State. Dave, you're taking Mississippi State. Yeah. Dan. Don't love it. This is a tough game. I wouldn't put my hard-earned money on it. But, you, but you're seeing me. everything in slow motion, right? Yeah, this is a tough game. I just won't touch this game. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then Dan and I are both taking Auburn. Correct. Let's go to the next game. This is a big one. Number six, Notre Dame versus number 24, Virginia Tech, mm-hmm. Notre Dame. Favored by six right now. And, Dave, I have to tell you, you said you didn't believe in Ian Book and didn't believe necessarily that they were that great with him after the Wake Forest game. Do you change your mind after last week? I think I just got words put in my mouth. No, you didn't. You said I mean, that they beat Wake one Forest game. Like, I'm, not, I'm still not – I mean, yeah, Notre Dame looked good last week. I don't know how no, they, they made that. they beat Stanford pretty heavily. Yeah, well, Stanford probably stinks. They should have lost to Oregon by 100. Um, Basically, they look really good with Ian Book. You can admit that, right? They look better. like a better they team with better. Ian Book. Yeah, Wimbush isn't a quarterback. Listen, he can't throw, he's not a throw or a pass. I, I, I want Notre Dame to go undefeated until they get the rematch in the playoffs with Michigan. So <laughs> don't, try to, like, don't try to put like <laughs> – Oh. <laughs> Dave made me laugh so hard I started to cough. Um, having said that, what I want to happen, what is going to happen is two different stories. So okay. your book guy, we're going to Blacksburg, one of the toughest places to play. Enter Sandman. I've been there at Live Electric. Plays is bumping. Blacksburg a lot actually. I've been there a bunch. I rode in a scooter club. Scoot club. Little, little little in fact, I'm a member of the scooter club. Yep. They still have my scooter there uh, that I that I gave and rode around town. Um, is it nicer than Dan's scooter he's been riding around? Oh yeah, it's a nice scooter. Yeah. It's a Vespa. Yeah, no, it wasn't Vespa. We, oh, we, so it wasn't yeah. that nice. Um, it's not bad. It's it not bad scooter. Nice. Uh, they're also erecting a statue that they're gonna avail for uh, Beamer mm-hmm. before the game. Yep. That's right. big. Yep. This, uh, we talked about earlier, do you think they're going to put the blotch on his neck? They have to. They're not going to, but they No, should. they have to. You think you they have will? to. That is Frank Beamer. Well, it is Frank Beamer, That's but Frank I don't Beamer. think that you, you can do that you on a statue. To. You have to. You know what would be an awesome statue is Beamer blocking a punt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sick statue. Yeah, it would. Um, yeah, it would. Like full extent. And just like Beamer yes. ball at the yeah, bottom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And his blob He's neck blocking out. a punt with his blob. <laughs> his neck. It like the football it is engraved. The blob. No, it's engraved. The yeah. blob, the football is like but becomes the blob ne- on yeah, his yeah, laces yeah, on the yeah, blob. Yeah, I like that. Um, I think not only does Virginia Tech cover, I think they win this game. Even though they don't have their starting quarterback anymore? <clears throat> yes. Okay. I think Notre Dame smells their undefeated season. That was the hardest test they had at Stanford with Stanford at home. Uh, the rest of their schedule. Smelling. No, it's gonna. This is a Notre Dame season that's exactly like the one in uh, 2012 when they lost to Bama. Yeah, they're gonna go through the season that you know their perennial schedule. Their rivals, USC's down. Michigan's down. Whoa. Florida State. Uh, Florida Shea State's Magic. down. They play Florida State. I mean, the, ske- the schedule that they have right now is a cakewalk in comparison and to it's not. It's, well, I'm not, I'm not saying that Notre Dame didn't schedule a tough schedule. Like they, right. they, It's just that a lot of the teams happen to be down at the same time. So this is going to be a year where Notre Dame goes undefeated. Everyone's going to get up in the hype. They're going to say, you know, wake up the echoes, all this stuff. I love that. Then they're the going to I get like their teeth kicked in. By someone in the college football playoffs. Yeah, I love it too. Notre Dame, Notre Dame. I'm not a Notre Dame fan, but Notre Dame being good at football makes college football better. Absolutely. So, with that said, I think Notre Dame's going to cover. I mean, their schedule. Everybody is not the 2018 version of all these teams are not good, and I think Notre Dame is a much better team with their Andrew. defense. Is good. Michigan, that mm-hmm. not good. Not good. Michigan, not good. No, no, I'm talking about the remaining okay. the yeah. remaining um, schedule that they have after you. after you like. they, no, after you. they played Full court. <laughs> Michigan and Stanford. The rest of their schedule is not as difficult Fair. as it has been okay. in the past. So I'm also going to take Notre Dame. Okay, I'm taking Virginia Tech. Everyone knows I never pick Notre Dame. Plus Virginia Tech. Enter the Sandman. Makes me think of Mariano Rivera. Just give them the goosebumps. <laughs> So I gotta go with the Hokies. I will say, Were you two? I've asked that question actually. Tyrone, I asked that. Que- I've asked that question publicly. <laughs> I don't think we can. Oh, that cough. I don't think we can yeah, vote on it. Your mouth, You're more worried about me. It's really no, him you need to be worried about. I'm worried about everybody. When you hear "Enter Sandman," I as sleep. A, as a sports fan, what do you think of? Virginia Shot Tech. Well, I think Virginia Tech, but a lot, really? a lot of people say Mariana. Well, it's a very tough question. Actually. Virginia Tech. I think Tech too.
I actually, I don't know. Uh, I don't if know. I, I went to Virginia Tech Clemson last year, we were live there. Yeah. I bet all my money on Tech because yeah. I heard that and was live and Clemson came out there monsters. It, I mean, yeah. it was never close. Monsters. But Virginia Tech also lost to Old Dominion this year. So how yeah. do you but feel I good that's picking a throw them? Up. I feel I feel like I that mean, game that, has that's ooh, bad. I feel like that game has warped everybody. They also smashed Miami. I mean they dominated uh, Miami. State. Oh shoot. Yeah. And Florida State stinks. Big difference. Huge difference. And Notre Dame is 6-0 against the spread in the last six games. So a couple weeks ago, you let me have a do-over. I'm going to give you a do-over. Are you going to do-over this game? Are you sticking with Virginia Tech? No, stick with your guns, Dave. No, I'm sticking with Virginia Tech. You just screwed up the Florida State. Yeah, you had that Miami wrong in my mind. That's tough. That's I didn't tough. know I if that changed your mind. No, 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 no. 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 Virginia Negative. Tech still. Negative. Listen, okay. Dave's catching bullets with his teeth. He's good. Okay. So Tommy and Dave, Virginia Tech, me and Dan, Notre Dame. Correct? Yes. Yep. All right. Let's go to the next game. This one's a big one. A lot of fun. Number 13, Kentucky at Texas A&M. Texas A&M is favored five and a half, even though they are not ranked. And if Kentucky wins this game, fellas, it'll be the first time they go 6-0 and since the 1950s. Woo! So it's a big one. And yeah. nobody is really giving Kentucky the credit they think they deserve. A&M players came out today and said stopping Benny Snell shouldn't be a problem, which I absolutely hate because that means he's probably going to yep. run for like 200 yards. Yep. But A&M favored at home night game at Kyle Field. Listen. Um, you go. No, you can go. Okay. I've doubted Kentucky this entire time. It's I've been against them every single week. I've been like, there's no way Kentucky's this good. I'm here as a man standing in front of everyone at home saying I'm ready to bet on Kentucky. I'm there. Which means they will lose, and they will lose big in this game, but I will be putting all my money on Kentucky. So, unlike the other people at this desk, and maybe the rest of the national media, I have been giving Kentucky all the respect in the world. I have bet on Kentucky the last two weeks. It's been the easiest. I, first score update, game's over. I'm laughing. Yeah, I'm laughing. True. <laughs> true. I'm going to take that one and go to Keeneland. True. true. Now, true. having said true. that, I have also laid out exactly what was going to happen in Kentucky. I said, listen, they're going to they they're going to beat South Carolina. They're going to beat Mississippi State. Then they're going to have a major letdown going to College Station. We are going to be there. We got that clip cashed in. They'll get the standing ovation from the home crowd after he gets, gets ejected. He got ejected for targeting versus South Carolina. So, so he's out in the first half. He missed the first half of the AM game. Yeah. Side fact, we, uh, here, here it is. The first half next week in College Station. And a couple years ago. We love Cash Daniels. Love him. It's a great name. Huge story. We're yep. going to be. In Kentucky, he's invited us over for we're like gonna eat the dinner at his meal house on, on Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, we're eating oh, at his so, house. Yeah, we have. Really? Yep. Oh, yeah. He's so we already school. did uh, when you're watching you, this. Yeah, we already ate. I don't ate. know if you're invited. Oh, Dave what? and I have been invited. Yeah. Oh. Well, we That's already not, ate. That's... Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. Well, I ate. I may not have. He also asked what type of beer we wanted. I always feel well, awkward when a college kid asks that because it's like, like I got it. Like you, I don't want to say. Like obviously, we just drink Bud Light. Yeah. And that was a great save by me. I was waiting to see what you said. I love it. I didn't know that. was a great thing about me. Listen. Uh, maybe you should just bring the Bud Light. We're bring seeing the Bud everything light. around here. No, so, we can't. You and can Panera mac and cheese. Yes. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Wait, are you morning. going to his house or like his, his parents' house? house? His house. His house. His house. So, so like, team, it's like his mom. get together on Thursday night. Okay. Yeah. I pictured Family like his dinner. mom cooking That's why we do this show. We have so much information. We have inside information. Yeah, we're inside. Having said that, it's going to be tough. I'm probably going to do the opposite of Dan. I'll uh, be yeah. like, I've had, re check, check the tape, this fellas. Was like, this was actually like, we just did our own pros versus shows. I'm, I'm the fucking Joe. He's the pro. We, we, we. And yeah, Dave's hot. I, I, I'll admit when Dave's I'm hot. I'm not telling him. I'm going to say, hey, Cass, check the tape. I've been saying you guys are the best, one of the better teams at SEC. No one's giving me respect. I've been winning, winning, winning. I got you this week going to AM. You're going to shut up the critics. That's what I'm going to say to this man's face. Truth of the matter is, I'm going to have AM and I'm going to laugh silently to myself when I win a lot of money. Here's what I'm going to do. Choose your own adventure. If I was invited over to Cash Daniels' house for dinner on Thursday night, I'm taking Kentucky. If I did not go, mm. I'm taking Texas a Okay, you're not Texas. going, so. Well. So, you're Texas not going. But we'll see. Okay. Well, Jimbo Fisher did compare Benny Snell to Emmett Smith. And I know we've been talking a lot about Jimbo Fisher over the last week with the whole helmet thing yeah. and how he was in a lot of hot water, and now he's comparing Benny Snell to, like, the leading rusher of the NFL. He's had a, an interesting week, fellas. What did you think about the whole Jimbo Fisher thing? Listen, I have no problem with it. But, I mean, isn't that basically what got Woody Hayes run out of Ohio yeah. State back in the 70s? Well, so. he was the opposing player. Oh, he, he did the opposing, the opposing player. player yeah. Well, you can't you can't. But Bobby Knight. Bobby Knight showed his own player in practice. Mm -hmm. I, here's my problem with it. I'm sick and tired of living the goddamn Purdue. Yeah, there's definitely like an element of it's football and football's a tough sport and coaches are going to coach tough. But with that said, Jimbo Fisher makes 
a gazillion dollars a year. The players make zero dollars a year. So, yeah, I have a little bit of problem with that because, you know what, Jimbo Fisher's making a, sh a ton of money. I have no problem with it. That's uh, really the only problem. It's yeah. like the act, it's not the act, it's more. So you're fine with it in high school? Because they, yeah, the high school kind of. coaches do it. it. I don't know if that makes sense. It's more just the fact that, like, and I would be fine with it in the NFL. Like, I'm fine with it anywhere. It's football. I, it's around my face mask. Well, so. it, the only reason anybody's talking about it is because the ESPN cameras caught it, right? right. Like, if it was right. any time during the game that it wasn't all over national TV, nobody would be talking about well, it. Well, any coach right now in any college game grabs but, a face mask that's it, national news. Just if it's, do yeah, if it's caught, bit. if people it see it happen. Like, like if, it happens, if it happens players. in practice and it comes out, nobody makes a big deal about it. Oh, yeah. But any game, they're going to catch it. I also think there's a difference between a grab and a twist. Okay. Like a grab, you're just getting in their face. That's cool. Listen, when you grab and twist or shake, that's like, come on, man. I'm Listen, trapped in this cage. I, I mean, it's the same thing. It's the pussification of America. It, football, specifically, you've seen high school coaches get suspended for making their team run, for like dropping an F bomb. This is the only thing I'd say. And Jimbo Fisher, I don't know how old he is. What, 60? He's an older guy. No, he's guy. younger than that. No, I think he's like in his he's early 50s. 50s. Really? Well, then he's a miserable looking guy for that age. He should, he should he's been in the get Florida some skin for like a long time. Uh, yeah, been you should, know, yeah. been you should know something about Dan, that. Don't look, Dan, you've been very no. hurtful. No, it's not. Um, no, not hurtful. I'm saying you, you, know, you got to be more careful with your skin care in the you've sun. Been, you've been hurtful. I'm not hurtful. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm worried about you. I'm going to say... Got you gotta know. You gotta know better. Like people, I don't. I could care less. But a lot of people are gonna make something out of this. So, uh, but personally, me, no. It's football. I want football coaches. That's what football coaches do. Deal with it. I want to circle back around. Why are you worried about Dave? His skin? Too much sun. I'm, yeah, God forbid. I mean, sun's not good. Yeah. He coming from a, support, coming from just, a melanoma like, survivor. Like, if you want like, me to shame you over melanoma I survivor. Tough. I felt that one coming. Yeah. Walked into that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Had, I mean, I you teed like that one up. I see Dave go more like SPF 30. You probably should. You're not going to say anything. Just now? think about it. Listen. <laughs> just think about it. I like my tan. I, know, I like my glow. It. I look in the mirror. I want to kiss myself. I'm going to stick with that. I mean, what hopefully else is you'll there be to able say? To look in the mirror for a long, long time. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know what? Yes. Hopefully, I can be pale when I'm dead. I hope that we have a show on my five-year remission <laughs> anniversary, just so I can just rub it in your face the whole time. <laughs> what one is that? No, oh, by the way, this I, 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 I want to put his brain in a pretzel listen, for just a second listen, since you listen, always no, do it to no, me. No, no, listen. I, I, I'm anti cancer. And I'm glad, I, I feel like that's good. I want that on the record. Right I'm glad you did. But <laughs> I'm, I don't have to worry, like I don't have to worry about <laughs> I don't have to worry about skin cancer when you get two people coughing up lungies on each like, side of me. I'm going to die from that. At least I'll be tan. I feel like Bobby Bacala Sr. When his last hit, and he's just laughing and coughing and spitting up blood and trying to shoot people. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that was a curb your enthusiasm moment. Here, I have a, a fun fact for you guys that'll no, change the mood. Sopranos. By the way, this Mac is great. We yeah, didn't get to eat today. Like oh. Appreciate always the support of our sponsors, Panera. Let them know that they're doing the right thing. Saturdays for the Mac. Get your Panera. Tweet it. I, I'm going to up it. Last time, you know when we said we're giving the free uh, giveaways? We'll do Lights, Camera, Maction, which is an electric Woo! shirt. An electric shirt. One of my shirt. favorite shirts. 100 people. 100 people. First 100. Get, it's going to be Panera, by the way. Yeah. I saw a lot of people just doing, <laughs> like, like, weird. No. Like the yeah. box mac yeah, and cheese. They're just cheese, Googling yeah. mac and cheese. We know that. Yeah, we you know to, I want a, I want put, a news put four, four <laughs> fingers. I want a newspaper next to your Panera. Or an iPhone that says yeah. the right. Yeah. yeah. Nobody's supporting They support us. Mac and cheese. Saturdays for Mac. Yeah. 100 lights, camera, and action shirts. They're my favorite shirt we've ever made. Send them in. Okay, but this is a fun fact that I've been waiting for. Somebody I mean, sent this to me on Instagram. So there's no, no. Way this can is live yes, no, this is. Fun. This is fun. AM was ranked number 10 on Maxim's hottest student body list that came out. Oh my God. And is Maxim still in business? Oh, yes. Did you guys have been one? talking about how ugly all the girls at AM are. That's a, Dave just no, Dave just ended Dave just ended that. you with a response. No. I mean, all Wisconsin, no hey, Wisconsin, 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 Wisconsin's number five. Listen, Maxim is a great magazine, <laughs> and I think they do a great job. I'd like and they're to see really that I, I honestly didn't know Maxim was still the yeah. the hard copy. 
I don't know. I saw it. I'll tell you what. Maxim back in the day was great. That's a real yeah. question. Because that was the, that was basically the, like when you were under eighteen. There's a porn mag that wasn't a porn mag. Can you, you could buy? Can you still physically get a Maxim magazine? I think so. I think so. Yeah. Really. Yeah. For, good for them. Yeah. Good for those uh, guys. I don't think men or women should be judged on their outside attractiveness. So I, 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 I second yeah. that, Tommy. I think everyone's beautiful. No I don't like why. that. Yeah. I don't like that poll. Well, if Tommy well, was good looking, he'd probably have a different. I mean, tune. look at this. Told me how right ugly now. all yeah. the girls at AM are. No, no one has that ever said that. That doesn't sound like something that's ever. Okay. I don't all even right. know what that four letter word is. Okay. Yeah. Let's recap the pick. So, Tommy, you're taking. Uh, depends if I'm at Cash Daniel's house. Okay. okay. Just pick, take a pick, Tommy. I, I'm, it's a choose your own adventure. Yeah, but then we got a reason. Come on. Fine. Okay, you're not coming. I'll take <laughs> Kentucky. I'm AM. I'm but taking. I'm, people are going to be on the record in Kentucky saying Kentucky bets AM. I'm going to take AM. It also depends on how Kellen Mond looks because he did not look good against a really bad Arkansas team last week. No, he didn't. They he, were up like 14 21 instantly and they scored the rest of the game. No, he looked awful. They all looked awful. I was embarrassed by that game. Yeah, it's an awful game. It school. was not. What? They should bring back Brett Bielma and just do it again. I was thinking that the other day. You think that Arkansas? Would be, yeah. yeah I, I, just be like, just yeah, go around. Like, pretend it's a whole new hire and just be like, hey, we're bringing in Brett Bielma. Bring in the mulligan. It's an idea that cop popped in my head. All right, well, speaking of Kentucky, Caleb was at Kentucky. He talked to Cash Daniel. He's trying to figure out if Kentucky football is real. This is concussion protocol. If you've been watching college football this season, you've probably heard people talking about Kentucky football. Biggest game in Kentucky football history. I wasn't even born the last time Kentucky beat Florida. This has got to be the week, I guess, now. Kentucky's like, they're big time, they're ranked 17th. And if you're anything like me, you probably have one question. Well, what is that? Kentucky football is a collegiate athletic program that holds its games in Lexington, Kentucky, as a member of the Southeastern Conference otherwise known as the SEC. However, as other SEC teams have found success by paying their players in cash, Kentucky has found success by playing a player named Cash. He is a fan favorite here. 56 on the right of your screen. Not before getting his guys fired up a little bit. Oh my God, is each other? That's all we need. Yes. God, for your brother, from first step to last step. So Kentucky, why football? I've learned, I've learned a lot about life through football than I have through actual life, if that makes any sense. And you're the team spokesman? Um, I'm kind of, I'm a really outspoken person. Like, I just, I just talk like how I feel at, at that moment and like. You like talking trash? I love talking trash. I didn't feel sorry for any of them. I hope they're all crying. I hope they're all sobering. I hope they're all the girlfriends broke up with them. I hope they're everything, so. But are the fans for real? I think the fans are for real. I think they are. Cash was for sure for real, but I wasn't as convinced as he was about the fans. So I went to a local radio rally to find out if Kentucky football fans are actually serious. Let me see right here. So, so, so Terry, you're you're a big fan. Die hard. Die hard. And you from Kentucky? Yes, sir. Paris, Kentucky. And you like Kentucky football too? Love Kentucky football. Are you serious about this? Yes. Very, very serious. Very serious. All right, Sean, come on in. Hi, I'm Sean Reynolds. Glad to be here. Thank you for having me. Sean, let me stop you for a second. I'm just gonna watch. Uh, I'm just gonna watch some some uh, Cash Daniel highlights. <laughs> I had something upsetting happen to me recently because I had to apologize for something I didn't do wrong. <clears throat> and I don't know about you, but that's that's my least favorite thing to do. I'm married. I'm doing enough of that at home. Right. Went to a speedway to use the bathroom, and it was a one-person bathroom. You know, it was just the toilet and the sink and the hand dryer. You, you've been in the bathroom, you know. And I popped open the door, and boom, there's a man sitting on the pot reading the paper. Not happy to see me, and he yelled at me. He goes, Hmm, maybe Cash was right. Terry did seem pretty serious about his team. Being serious about a team is one thing, but truly loving a team is quite another. When you love something, you'll sacrifice for it. So the question is, what exactly are these fans willing to sacrifice for their team? Would they pass up a chance to win $1,000? Welcome to TV's newest game show, Yes or No. To 
find out once and for all if these fans really love their team, I created an elaborate game show and scheduled the first episode's taping to overlap with Kentucky's biggest home game of the season. Let's meet our contestant. My name is Howie. Uh, I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, and I want the $1,000 because uh, last week I ran out of beer money. Does Kentucky play in the Big Ten Conference? No. Correct. All right. Well, you're a pretty big Kentucky fan, man. I woke up this morning hungover as shit, just ready to come to the UK football game. Just ready for it. To be real, though, there is a, there is a television outside that we have the game plan if you want to sit down and watch it. You have to forfeit your chance for the money, but you, I do understand that you're a big fan. How much money? $1,000. Yeah, we'll stay. <laughs> Question number seven. Unfortunately, it became pretty clear that maybe all these Kentucky fans weren't as serious about their team as they claimed. However, I found I had a new problem on my hands. As Howie continued to get the questions right, he was moving closer and closer to winning $1,000 that I didn't have. Final question for $1,000. Are you ready? Well, been ready since 1997. As I prepared a final question, I thought of something I recently learned during my interview with Cash. I don't like to watch football like on TV as much. Like, I like to watch college football. And on Sundays, I watch the NFL like my favorite teams and stuff. But besides college football and NFL, you don't watch it? No, I don't watch CFL. Kentucky star player doesn't like watching football. He only likes watching college on Saturdays and NFL on Sundays. Howie would never see it coming. Does Cash Daniel like to watch football? I'm gonna go with yeah. I'll say yeah, he does. Fuck it, yeah, he likes to watch football. You tell me, does he? He doesn't like to watch football. Fuck! That was a close call. But in the end, I was able to uncover the answer I was searching for. At 5-0, Kentucky football is a team worth watching out for. But is it a team worth sacrificing for? To fans in Lexington, maybe not yet. Go for it. No, then go for it. I, that's what I expect. Kentucky needs to deliver the national title. They're the best team in the world. Nobody's that's even it. close. Get it done. Mm. Thanks so much to Caleb. Uh, Cash Daniel, great guy. You guys excited to hang out oh, with yeah, him? Oh, yeah, very much so. Very excited. Yep, all three of us. <laughs> Tommy's going to try everything mm -hmm. he can to make sure he's there. All right, let's go to the top two games of the week. This is presented by Bud Light Game Day's favorite light logger. This is number five LSU versus number 22 Florida. Florida is plus two and a half. LSU barely won last year. Florida was absolutely awful. The biggest difference, guys, this year is that Joe Burrow is actually a playmaker for Coach O. I don't necessarily know how far they're going to go in the mm -hmm. SEC West, but I think they're the real deal. And I don't think Florida is, even though they're ranked. Okay, you're wrong. Uh, Florida <laughs> is going to win this game. Uh, I like Coach O, but I would be surprised if LSU scores more than 10 points. I think it could be a situation where they're not even past midfield for the most of the game. I think Florida's defense actually is very much for real. Uh, I like the Gators in this chomp chomp. They're going to win this game at home. I mean, it's two and a half, so if you like them, you get versus the spread, you got to like them in the game. But big win in the swamp, 330 uh, SEC on CBS. Uh, Vern Lundquist, wish he was there. He's not, but it's still Florida. But Florida's offense stinks, and LSU's defense is awesome. You are getting caught up because, guess what? You bet on Tennessee against Florida. Now you think Florida's good. Your brain is all all diluted and, and crazy. That's what I'm doing to I'm those taking numbers. LSU. I'm taking LSU. I'm doing taking numbers. LSU. I know, I know the trap you're walking into here. I know every bet you made. Don't you think most people you bet, are taking LSU? Did you, not, did you or did you not bet on... Tennessee against Florida. I believe the fifth. Exactly. I'm thinking Florida, too. Just, they're coming over. You're just going to copy every one of Dave's. No, yeah. we have a different pick on Kentucky, Texas A&M. I made the Tyler. first pick on Mississippi State. So this is the second time that we have the same pick. Okay. Uh, well played, Tom. Florida's quarterback cannot stand up against LSU secondary. I can't. We'll see. You, you'll see. Florida impressed me in their win over sports, the number two team in the country LSU. last week, yeah. Mississippi State. So at home against number five, I like Florida. Okay. Well, two former coaches, Les Miles and Steve Spurrier, are making the most headlines of this game. They're making bets on Twitter, which I can't believe Steve Spurrier even has Love a Twitter. Ball, but they have a bet if – Who's making them? Les Miles and Steve Spurrier. Is this like an ad? Yes. I don't, is it? Yes. Steve Spurrier is probably like Unless some Unless it's an ad for Panera or Bud Light, yeah, then it's very yeah, smart yeah, it's, and great job. 
Uh, it's probably not as stupid. Well, Les Miles has to wear Steve Spurrier's visor or Steve Spurrier has to eat grass. Yeah. I like those two guys, so I'm all in on having to watch this. I like them too, but it's a Casey, paid Casey, you know that's an ad, right? Yes. Okay. But I still like both of them a lot. So yes, I do too. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Old ball coach, come on. Okay. Les Miles. Legend. Yeah. Just chewing so the fucking up the grass. Claps. The Mad Hatter. Do it. Yeah. With Les Miles, no one runs a trick play that is more predictable that still that's works. more predictable that still works that somehow every single game hinges on it yeah. than Les Miles. And then he just does this. Yeah. <laughs> the entire game, the entire season for LSU when Les Miles was a the coach there just basically hinged on six trick plays. Let's see if we can get that a, cl a clip of him. He literally and claps. Like, do it like, next to yeah. everybody clap your hands. Clap, your hands. clap, 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 clap your hands. Clap, clap. Clap, clap your hands. Okay, so I'm going to take LSU because I don't think Florida is very good. Dave, you're taking Florida. Dan, LSU. Yep. Tommy. Florida. Florida. There's a trend to yeah. show. There's an, I mean, there's not a trend. So to go through Mississippi State, I picked before he picked Virginia Tech. I always. Picked I was against, more saying there was a trend. Like you two against, are taking no, the same thing. Him. I always picked against Notre Dame, and, so and then he has Texas. Who? Me and Tommy. Yeah. yeah. Jason. I'm just no, waiting. I, that was it. That was Man's a big count, not you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tommy likes. You just you are putting words in his mouth now. My bad. Okay. Let's voice, go. You just voice blame Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the number one game of the week. Laugh. The Red River. I can't even say this. Red, River, Red shootout. River Shootout. It's a tongue twister. Why do I call it the Red River Rivalry? I don't know. You just make it. No, I say the same thing, which is why I usually get stuck. It's a, but it's the Red River Shootout. Yes. Huh. Number That's 19. You know what it is? I think is. I think it used to be Red River Rivalry. See? It's tough. It used to be the Red River Rivalry, and I think now someone sp like AT and T sponsors the Red River Shootout. Got it. I've never. This is a game. This is one of those games I would like to go to the Texas State Fair before all that. That the crowd's half and half. It's, it's right on the noon, state though. line, right? I know noon is tough. Um, and they're both ranked number nineteen. Have you ever Texas, I have number nineteen. Texas, there's seventeen. Oklahoma. I like it. The Cotton Bowl is just not a great yeah. place to watch Could you, a game. Can you have fun there? Yeah. Where is it? It's in Dallas. Oh. At the Texas State Fair, yeah. there's been 113 of these yeah. babies. So, yeah. and I grew up in Dallas, so I have been there. Everything is fried. The food is just oh, disgusting. Yeah, it makes great. you feel very fat. No. Uh huh. I mean, it's good, but it makes yeah. you feel very fat. So, yeah, the, this game's big though because the biggest question is: is, is Texas actually back? And how good is Oklahoma and Kyler Murray? Mm. And Dave, you compared Texas to Tiger Woods after he won before the Ryder Cup, obviously, because he stunk at the Ryder Cup. But you said that Texas will not be back just like Tiger is not back. If they beat OU, are they back? I said they're not back until they actually win, just like Tiger. Right. They're going to so, 12. Right. I mean, well, they're saying they're back at number 19. If you're a Texas fan, you can't consider that being back. I mean, well, Texas fans, think, Texas, Texas fans think Texas fans think they are. They yeah. think they're back with that? Yeah. Um, well, because they snapped the losing streak in Manhattan last week against Kansas State, so they think yeah, they're back. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, well, I, I just don't think Oklahoma's great this year. Uh, I don't, I'm not sold on Texas. Eight points. This uh, reminds me a little bit of a trap, but our own Liz Gonzalez, uh, she, she, she thinks they're back. Dan, she, oh, yeah. even though she is. Uh, well, she is a Texas fan. She got this McGonaghy thing that she's like, hey, show it if you pick Texas. So I'm showing it. I'm going to take Texas. It's an early game. I think it's going to be high scoring. I'm going to go with the Longhorns just because I don't think Oklahoma is good. I think this is a team, a game of two teams that are overrated. Yeah. I'm taking the over. I love the over. Just because the shootout's in the name. It's, they do it to me every, every year. That's fine. I'll still bet it. I'm taking Oklahoma. And? Not doing it. Tommy's too much of a whip to do horns down. Do I'll it, do Tommy. It. I'll horns do it. down, baby. Oh, horns down. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were telling me to do this, and <laughs> no, I was like, that's the long horn down. thing. I thought you were trying to make it. me look like an idiot. No, when you pick that's one of those you things, pick it. You know, like Texas, probably the number one, maybe anything of you better be good because people just throw it in your face. Yeah, yeah. Horns right. down, and, and like there's Texas people, and, oh, I'm not mad about that, but they get very oh, mad every yeah. time. Oh, yeah. I'm Tyler so, Murray train. Oh, I am too. Yeah. I, I feel that you say they're not good, but Oklahoma is really good because of Kyler Murray. Their offense is awesome. Mm. Yeah. I look, mean, look great against Army. You keep going back to that. That wasn't Kyler Murray's fault. Two weeks ago. I mean, he had like Who six touchdowns. Oklahoma touch has week. literally played nobody. Oklahoma will. It, it, to, to speak about Oklahoma for a second, Oklahoma, you remember how like they were, we always make fun of like, oh, Notre Dame loses a big game or like Clemson loses a big game. Oklahoma always loses a big game. They you know, always lose you know a big game in the Big Twelve. Because they just because they won. 
big big game Bob Stoops. Yeah, they won they one national that championship nickname, early. And they rolled that nickname, mm-hmm. big yes. game Bob Stoops, for a decade. He won it his second <laughs> year there. No, I seriously, know. his second year there. Didn't win anything else. Big game Bob Stoops. Got, got embarrassed by Boise State in probably the, the greatest upset um, overtime play. I had to Statue qualify that. Boise State for the win. They hand it off to Johnson. Boise State has won the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Can you believe it? Great play. What was it? What was it? What was it? Uh, Kellen. Uh, Kellen Moore. Kellen Moore. Yeah, yeah. Kellen Moore. Yeah. Kellen Moore. Then they weird, put him on the EA Sports. Hor- horrific. That was a little. NCAA. Yeah, that was yeah. a little, little reactionary by them. Uh, but yeah, Oklahoma always was it, a big it's game. It's literally because they nicknamed the coach Big Game Bob Stoops and people <laughs> yeah. stopped paying attention. It's like big every, game, oh, it's like, got big game Bob Stoops. Yeah, it's like Big Game James, James Shield. Oh, yeah. He was like, this guy's got to do something. It's like, no, he had 16 losses. You this know, it was the antithesis of that. Big shot Bob. Bob Ori. He yes. always had big shots. Oh, he big shot never Bob. missed a big shot. They almost lost this game last year when OU was ranked number three. Five straight covers for Texas. Yeah, yeah and they're eight and one Boston the last stack. nine times out as an underdog. Yeah. So there's there's good. Uh, I'm gonna take Oklahoma. I like Kyler Murray a lot, and it's nothing against Texas. If you like him so much, why don't you marry him? Maybe if he would have maybe if he would have stayed at AM, maybe I would have. Well you at AM? Yeah. Shit, that, that sucks. That's gotta that. hurt. Yeah, yeah, that's gotta he hurt. He left. He left. <laughs> Just like Kyle Allen left. So thanks for that, Kevin. Someone. Uh so I'm taking Oklahoma. You guys are taking I can't remember who I'm you said. I'm taking Oklahoma. Oklahoma. I'm taking the over. You don't remember what I said? Texas. Texas. Oh, yeah, because you brought out a shirt. You got a prop. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go to Big Ev for the social game of the week. Big Ev, that was a close one for you last oh. week, huh? It was a win, though. Broadway Ev came through, delivered on the guarantee. Is that Are you so- nervous? No, never. You, you never get out point. of here. You're never, 14 never, points in the Never at any quarter. point was I nervous. I thought we actually had a chance to cover at one point. You're but just that lucky. went out the window. You're lucky that James <laughs> Franklin, Franklin Victor made a huge play. Yeah. You're He's lucky James out. Franklin had a, like just lost his mind. And also without Bosa, Chase Young was playing out of his mind. Number two, of, if you watch the game, he jumped off the tape. You know, it's oh, all yeah, over the place. Made the, Jay, made, made, the, made, the, made the game when it oh, – Stephen Chay would have been all over it. When do, we, when do we start saying the Bosa's as a family is just injury, bro? I wouldn't say that. Uh, they, they, they're they're both injured at the same is, time. That's true. And they're they, like Joey Bose has been like permanently injured in the NFL. Um, no, I think he just held out a little bit at the beginning of his career. He wasn't like injured. He was uh, yeah. Con- but he hasn't played this year. Yeah, not this year. He's been out. Yeah, he's not going to be back to like week nine, I think. Mm-hmm. And your the other Bose, uh, he's, he's hurt. hurt right? Right? I hope yeah. be back though. He'll probably be yeah. back for a Michigan right. so game. The his sister the, the, that's hurt right now. Uh, I don't believe so. Okay. Their dad played in the NFL though. I think yeah, he's was he hurt. I don't think so. He I probably was hurt at one point, point in his don't career. Don't know what's that saying. Uh, before we get to the social game, though, you weren't nervous on that fourth and five call? I trust Greg Schiano. He called up the great stunt, whoa, Chase whoa. Young. Chase Young came in, Just made a great play. Definitely, we'll admit, was very happy that they did not have the ball in McSorley's hands on that play. But I still think we make the play. He made a great stunt. I think even if McSorley has the ball, he's coming right up the A-gap and he's making that sack or oh, play regardless. Yeah, talking A-gap. Oh, yeah. 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 I like but it. football mind, I know the game. Yeah. I did play. Did you guys? We know the game. Did you guys, obviously, I know you didn't agree with the play call, right? Were you on the podcast this week saying that, or did I make that up? Who could agree with the play call on your podcast? Yeah, I can't remember if you were I was not on your podcast. Who could agree with that play call? No, okay, actually, Cons Cons was walking around the office yesterday explaining why it was the absolute right play call. And I was like, no, no, it's a horrible play call. Yeah, wait, wait, hold on. You're talking about Connor? Connor, who played Army football, no yes. shit that guy says that running up the middle is the right he play call. I love Connor, but saying running up the middle is the right play call, he'll say that every no. single time. You, you have fourth and 50. He's like, well, if you run up the middle, you could probably wear him down. I, I didn't hate the play call as much as everybody else. I agree, put it McSorley, but. You gotta let McSorley make a play. I mean, it. it yeah. The, the, the thing is, they with that. They had a trap. They thought they had him trapped. And I don't think there was even like. I don't a very, think was, I, I'm never gonna get mad. It, it, I don't like the call, but if but you Dave, do something that is Dave, so unexpected, Dave, which I think that was, I don't but hate Dave, that. after two timeouts, that that's the other name. part that killed me. Don't take two timeouts. Yeah. Run your fourth down play. Then if you don't get it, you at least still have a chance to get the ball back. That was the most egregious thing. It's like yeah. you took two timeouts to trot that shit yeah, call. Right. It's out. crazy. I was like, you got to ride the horse that got you there. Yeah. He was he had a phenomenal game. And he was gashing us and in the run all day. Player, and so. James and Franklin knew he was wrong because that's why he got mad at that fan. Yeah. He, he doesn't get mad at that fan unless he unless he's 100% wrong. And that fan was like so deferential. He's like, oh, he, he was like, like, he, was like, like yeah. he was polite. He was like, I love you, coach, but yeah. he's a bad call. I think we have I the like video of it, right? Do we yeah. have the video? I, I assume James Franklin's going to reach out to this guy and like give him no, a football or something. He's probably going to give him the key to the city or something. Yeah. 
you, you should be able to have role players and coaches without having them come at you. Well, I mean, my old rule is wrong. You know my idea. What's that? Every player and coach gets to fight one fan a year, just once. Mm. So when and you go to a game, no. when you go to a game and you decide to talk shit, if that player still has their fight, they can be like, all right, let's go. We're going to fight. We're going to stop the game, blow the whistle, fight in the 50-yard line. And then you know that if like James Franklin's already used this fight, you can talk shit to him. That was a bad call. He's right. I love you. I'm surprised James Franklin didn't drop. I don't see why the I love you, but it was a bad call. That was what like triggered him to like start like yeah. going at him. I mean, he knew it was a bad call. That's why he got mad, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. He admitted it. Yeah, it's terrible. Big up. Social game of the week. Social game of the week. Florida State going to Miami. Miami laying 13 and a half. I don't think I love Miami in this game more. Florida State stinks. Good Miami defense. I think scored three defensive touchdowns last week. Florida State's defense, our offensive line is awful. Yeah, I agree. Uh, this week. I, I am a Florida State truther. I have been all season long. Yeah. I just keep going against them because I knew they're horrible. Uh, but Miami is not very good either. Uh, that game against North Carolina, which I watched, they did have three defensive touchdowns. Offense didn't look great, though. No, it looked horrible. And North Carolina is like moving the ball, they, and then they North just kind of throw like a horrible interception. So, uh, and, like, they were intercept one of them. Maybe two of them were like the defensive linemen. Yeah. Yeah. They just so. threw it into the guy's gut. So. I'm taking Miami, but I'm nervous, and that says a lot because I think Florida State's horrible. I'm taking my. I, I'm going to take Miami, minus 13 and a half. That's a lock. I'm taking. You know. What, and I'm, the reason why I like them is I don't think Florida State, like Dave said, Florida State's terrible. This is a game Miami gets up for. It's at home. This is a rivalry. Take Miami. I. <laughs> I think. And the turnover chain is going to come out. I think Florida State may upset them. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna take them to cover, and I'm gonna say possible upset. Okay. Shout out uh, to Good Louisville job, and Bobby Petrino <laughs> last week. I'm about to say that's the only that reason Florida State got that win. Uh, who absolutely fucked me. At Louisville plus five and a half winner. Louisville money line plus one ninety. They're winning the whole game. Seven nothing. 14 to twenty one seven. Twenty four fourteen. It's twenty four twenty one. They got the ball. About five minutes. They drive right down their throat. All the way down the throat. Big third and two. They get a first down. at The Florida State 20. Florida State has two times. First of all, guy runs out of bounds for no reason um, on the third down. Could have made him use a timeout. Fine. He ran out of bounds. Still, two timeouts. Our ball. They're 20. Up three. Game's pretty much over. Florida State's holding their heads. Um, we, Stella, I'm telling you a story. We throw on first down. The worst pass ever is a five-yard throw interception what are you doing what are you doing throwing the ball on first down when the other team has two timeouts and you're up three at their 20 run it run it run it run it run it run it they'll get the ball back with a minute down six eight. there's no chance it's a thousand times worse than what the oregon state coach did the other day a thousand times worse my units are big plus 190 the game's over. Just fucking run the ball. They fucked me. I mean, that game was over. <laughs> All Louisville had to do was run the football. And Petrino, again, has set the table. Louisville's winning, dominating the whole game. As Florida State gets in it, cuts it to three. It's about five minutes to go. Louisville goes on a long drive. They, have, they just convert third down to get first and ten at, like, the Florida State 18-yard line. Florida State has two timeouts. Minute 58. And they throw the ball in first down. It's it it. Is he excommunicated? No, this is a game. Listen, now this is what happens with gamblers. You that get game a game like this, pocket. and it sticks with you for a very long time. And you bring it up to like random people on the street. You're like, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you see like a Louisville sweatshirt. You're like, hey, you remember that game in 2018 my, when Bobby Petrino was still throwing? I I this one's gonna to stick with Dave. Dave's gonna have to. Dave not only lost this game money line. But he lost because the therapy bills to get this game out of his memory are going to be substantial. Did you write it in your journal? What's that? Did you write fuck yes. Bobby Petrino in yeah, your journal? Yeah, yeah, that neck yeah, brace loser. <laughs> yeah. Also, if they were to ever make him a statue, well, he was, would he have the neck brace on? In his defense, he was having a lot of sex at that point yes. in his life. So. Also, and, and then I closed it out, money line, when I told anybody who listened to San Jose State would be Florida. Uh, that was plus Hawaii, like yep. 350, and they uh, lost in like 19 overtime. So mm -hmm. that was unfortunate. 
It's a sad time. I'm going to take Miami as well on this. So to recap the picks, Tommy and I don't even know who you said because I was just listening to Dan talk over you. I took Florida State. Okay. Big I F. I talk over Love Miami. Miami? Florida State stinks. Big Dave. Cat? Oh, I have Miami. I took Miami. All right. Because Miami. I'm a Florida State. I'm the only one on Florida State here. Florida, last, yes. Shout out uh, to myself. I was the only one in Washington last week. On minus 18. That, that was a BYU. Good pick, Tommy. Thank you. All right, let's go to the Pick'em Podcast. We've got Dave, Dan, and Rico Bosco. You, you didn't, you're going to tell me? You're going to tell me how to do the list? I created this list since 2013. Dave is a lifetime loser in gambling, as am I, and we, we fully admit it. But there is something that you have to understand about Dave Portnoy. When he gets hot, he gets hotter than anyone else in the world. I get very hot. And when hot. he gets hot and he sees the board, you ride it. You've said that about so me. No, that's yes, never said that about you. Yeah, you did. That's how you. Only that's how you. Pull the tape. That's how you get a fifty said burger Oregon hung State. on yourself okay. from 2016. Dave, I still that's remember. I still remember the 2015. I think it was 2015 college hoops. college hoops. The January where Dave went like, not even joking. He went like 70 and 10. I got shut off. I was up 300 grand. Yeah. They shut. You had me to off. buy. You had to buy a dine- uh, a, a living yeah, room LAO. set. LAO. My buddy like, LAO. He was worried that my own bookie was going to come back and rob me because he knew I had all the cash. <laughs> yeah. So he tried to get me to buy a dining room set. Yeah. He's like, you just got to do the. You got to do something with the money. Why don't you yeah. just buy a living room set? Yeah. <laughs> like the Price is Right or something. Yeah. Like he's buy like, a trip. Like buy they know buy an a, RV or yeah, a fucking like, jet ski. They know ski. you have that much cash. They're going to tell you. He's like, you got to just. And, and Elio, God bless him, he always has stuff. Like his thing, he used to always sell, try to sell me and all our friends were suits. And he, I got some suits that fell off the back of the truck. <laughs> but he you didn't get allowed to say what size you were. So you get a suit that didn't even come close to fit. And you would have to find somebody to trade. It's just like you end up with these weird fitting suits. Guess who Virginia Tech is unveiling a statue of? Oh, Beamer? I saw that. And Beamer. do you? Well, no, here, Rico. I have to see the statue before I know. Think they're gonna put the face uh, malfunction in it. If they don't put the what the blob on, thing from his what? neck, what do you, his neck his blob. Neck. Do you not know Frank ne- Beamer I has a neck blob? I didn't memorize his neck blob. No. Are you, what, what are you the talking hell? about, Rico? Rico, oh, I have to look at it. Rico, Virginia Tech football. They fucking run the ball. They block punts for touchdowns. And, and Frank has Beamer a has thing his on neck his blob. Neck. That's literally How what they're How do you not know that he has a thing on his neck? Enter Sandman neck blob. That's the thing. Never so I to, I saw I that. I never s- looked at it. The guy's been coached crazy. for thirty years. This is this is our uh, our new segment that we're unveiling on the college football pick'em. It's called Has Rico ever watched a college football yeah. game uh, in his life? It's because amazing. Because sometimes we don't know. What, like that, like how it goes, like that way. What Rico, you, it's his neck know, thing. It's, 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 it's as it's as famous as Ma- it up. It's, it's, as, it's as famous as Marilyn Monroe's mole. Yeah, Cindy Crawford's mole. I mean, it is I an iconic thing. It's the neck block. I don't see people like that, so I ignore it. But do you just not watch? I just don't, it's, I like don't Arnold, it's like Arnold Schwarzenegger has big biceps. I just ignore it. I don't know. I don't know. What do you mean you ignore it? It's not something I ever noticed. It fucking stares you in the I eye. I never noticed it. I've spent more time he looking. thought he was old and he's draggy. I don't no. Know. I never really Rico, looked into it like he's that. He's got like a full extra thing of skin just like like slapped on it him. honestly when you think virginia tech that is it's the, the neck first thing yeah it's pu- it's blocking punts and neck blobs for you guys not me for everybody for everyone who's, who's know, watched college football i don't what do you call it i didn't know i don't it's not something i looked i noticed but it's not what at. you look or you don't it's like something right. that's right in front of your face you all see right. it if you had to I list don't look like, for a car accident yeah. but it's there if you had to list like all the people that like i know in my life I I'd say looking at Frank Beamer's neck blob is like top twenty things that I've looked at in my life right. for the Big amount time. of time. Big All time. Right. Come on, Rico. All right. I didn't. I, what so my so back to my point. Like, do you know Lou Holtz has like a lift? Yeah, I know that. Do you? Yes, because you could hear it. So, so it's you different. just de- you're but blind. You could, but theoretically, you could just. But like, like you see people. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, so it's back different. to my do point. You know, Rico. Scott had like that wonk eye. Yes. Well, why didn't you block that out? It's hard to block out. Well, yeah. So is the blob neck. All right. Listen. Rico, my point is, I have to see what the statue looks like because if they don't put the blob neck on there, I'm taking the statue and all the juju that comes with it out. Out. Throw okay. it out. Throw it out. Don't you agree, Dave? Yeah, well. If they I, have a regular Frank Beamer statue with no neck blob, you gotta put the neck it's going to be like, what is this? This guy, who is this guy? You got to put the neck blob You have in. to. Listen, he knows he has a neck blob. He it, never made it. He didn't wear scarves or anything. It's like Michael Strahan's seat. Like, yeah. He has a neck Frank blob. Frank Beamer probably has his neck blob in shirt. I'm not joking, dude. It's a trademark. Like, if he loses the neck blob, he loses who he is as Frank Beamer. It's Bear Bryant's, like, hat and plaid coat. Jerry Garcia's nub finger. 
Like yeah. we, the list goes on. All right. It's the neck Ronnie Lott, four fingers. Yeah, but do you know why that happened? Bill Belichick's yeah. hoodie. So yeah. Yeah. Bill yeah. Belichick's oh, hoodie. Yeah, I know. I watch. I pay uh, attention. Bill Parcells <laughs> fupa. Yeah. The neck blob. All right. I'm trying to think if there's Vince anything. Lombardi's suit. The neck blob is very Dicka's mustache. I, I, I honestly like we literally could go on and on. I, I know we're like I just didn't. I, I know we're we're adding it and we're doing this for emphasis. And it is stunning that you didn't know he had a neck stunning. blob. Didn't really like jump out to me. Oh my god. Okay, we got to move on. Either way, bet this game accordingly. Neck blob on the statue. Bet Virginia Tech. No neck blob. Bet Notre Dame. Time for the cheesy moments of the week as we sit up here and eat this delicious mac and cheese. Dave, you've pretty much finished all of yours, right? I hadn't eaten. It's great. I actually was going to eat lunch, and I'm like, you know what? We're doing this shoot, and I know I have the mac and cheese waiting, so I waited for it. Dan's got the bacon. Tommy's mm-hmm. got the barbecue. I actually mm-hmm. had it for lunch already, which is why I haven't eaten all oh, of this. Good, I had my first lunch. Job, Tommy, you, got oh. you got cheese. Just I love it. Cheese. cheese all together, in your mouth. Man. Do you get want mine? It's my no, because I saw right. you picking at it, and you're sick. Oh, that's right. I apologize. I apologize. you clean it up? Mom Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so on to cheesy moments of Tweet the week. us all your mac and cheese. Panera, it's gotta be Panera. Hashtag Saturday. And don't Google, Google it, right? A lot of people no were Googling. Google. Get the real stuff, tweet it. I'll give you a lights camera mac and t shirt on the house. Hundred people, right? Yep. Hundred. Uh, all right, cheesy moments of the week. We're gonna start with Baylor's head coach Matt Rule, who was headbutting a football player. Um Take notes, Jimbo Fisher. This is I, how you pump up your. That's how you do it right there. You I mean, hurt yourself first. Yeah. An yeah. arm around, that's a friendly. Yeah. And that looked like that was like out of love. He's yeah. like, use your head, use your head. No, that was good. That was. It looked like they maybe just scored there. That was like. I mean, it's very yeah, rare it for Baylor pro- to be doing yeah, anything good. Yeah, a touchdown. Good, so. Here comes the extra point. Yeah. So Matt Rule trying to turn around that program, but yeah, that's like that. that's difficult. Mm-hmm. Okay. You're, you're going to be a desperate, by the way, head coach to accept that job. Desperate. Yep. I mean, the most. West Virginia turnover hard hat. This is going to continue forever till kingdom come. These turnover gimmicks. What do we think about this one? <laughs> well, Ooh. you had that. You had that coal miner. <laughs> <laughs> the front, you got something. Oh, Listen, <laughs> without the coal miner, you got a problem. Yeah. With the coal miner, yeah. I'm in. I've told this story. We did rough and rowdy, which were in Lexington, but we've been in West Virginia. The the sticks of West Virginia driving. There's a sign. Uh, last day since coal mine accident. It was just two. Two? Two. Two days? Hey, three is a winning streak. Yep. But uh, I like okay. that. I like that. Switching sports real quick. Fun story about Bob Huggins. He takes his West Virginia basketball team up to the top of the arena every single time at the start of the season. And he says, see the coal, or first he takes me out to the coal mines. He says the coal miners start down here so they could pay for their tickets to see you up here. I like that. That's good. It's a fun Great fact, Tommy. I like that. Yeah, but they the, play so hard? The, uh, the turnover hard hat plays. I don't like turnover stuff. I think I'm on the record as that, but I'm also on the record as a Coach Dana guy. And if I'm nothing, I am loyal to my friends. So Well, I mean, the, again, the front of it is a game changer. Yes, absolutely. Well, and they're also good this year. Anybody who does turnover gimmicks and they stink, it's bad. True. So, Facts. West Virginia, good. So, we like that. Okay, this one, like I, the I have... Florida State back there. That's how you yes. get Paul Christ in his uh, plain Wisconsin sweatshirt saying, turnover chain my fucking ass. Yeah. There you go. This... Cheesy moment of the week. I have no idea what to say about this. At the Texas Tech-West Virginia game, speaking of West Virginia, there was a wedding ceremony at halftime, and the mascot acted as the bride's father, walked her down the aisle I love this. I, I just, I mean, if you're going to get married in the fall, I guess, this is the way to do it. Listen, the proposal of the game is cheesy. The marriage of the game with the mascot walking you down the aisle, that's how committed you and are. And to get the band playing the whole time, I guess. Yeah. I just, it is so Lubbock. This is so Lubbock. Yeah. Fun place. Fun place. I don't know if you're making fun of me or not. No, he said it. He said fun place. Okay. It's a fun place. I just feel like every time he says something when he's looking away from me and something we've talked about. I have to make eye contact with everything I say. I'm trying to spread around the looks, the cameras. Good job, Lubbock. (laughs) Fun Fun place. Do you have any thoughts on the wedding ceremony? I guess I don't know what the Red Raider looks like. Does he look Uh, like the old state cowboy except with the Red Raider? Yeah. Yeah. No, the Oklahoma State. Yeah. Yeah. A Just bit. a big cowboy hat. Basically. Yeah. Well, then I don't hate it. Yosemite Sam. Yeah. They know how to have fun there. All right. We don't hate it. I actually don't like it. But if you're going to get married in the fall in the South, this is the way to do it. So your friends don't hate you. Because everybody hates you if you get married on a Saturday during. Brace the fall. debate. Is Texas the South? It's well, it's in the, the southern part of the country. Yes. I just don't always associate. I don't production. associate Texas with the South. No, I feel like I'm general. No, I'm just saying. This I mean, may that's be, that's str- a fact. This may that's be a fact. wrong. This may be stupid, but I consider the South the South. 
Texas is, is, is its own entity, and then everything west of Texas well, is the west. No, so I actually like, agree with that. Texas, was Texas involved in the Civil War? I do not know. That's uh, how I would have imagined was, yes. Were they? I don't think so. Didn't no. they have the Oh, Casey's what? looks like Casey's trying to erase her history. Well, I'm, I'm actually really not good at history, but I'm like they do I'm not consider themselves sure south. They like were. they had the whole like like secede no, thing. No, actually, I'm like, pretty sure they were not. They were not. They had yeah, their I don't own think they were not. That's why I'm saying they're not the yeah. south. They're not. You have a southern accent and you have a Texas accent too. That's right. a good way to. If you didn't to, fight in the Civil War in the south, I don't. Yeah. Know, you can't say you're the south. I'm pretty sure they did not. Okay, okay. and you're not the south. Okay, all right. They lost. Well, Embrace debate about whether Texas is in the South. Let's do Panera Locks of the Week. Hashtag Saturdays are for the map. We'll bring out Big Ev as well for this. Uh, Dave, we're going to rifle through these. What's your lock of the week? Uh, who, who did I have last week? Oh, the over in Oklahoma, Baylor. Yes, and you are 2-2 two and two in your locks of the week, by the way. Yeah, yeah uh, that game is over. Texas did fight in the Civil War at the oh, South. I don't think so. I'm looking at the map right now. Well... Uh, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to anybody who had a mortal lock last week that ended in three quarters because I did. Uh, Wisconsin minus 19. Uh, they are playing Nebraska. Nebraska is in uh, shambles. I would fire Scott Frost. He is clearly the wrong guy for this job. Um, I'm going to take Wisconsin. I'm going to win this game by 50. My overall record, you try to sabotage me, Casey. I'm, I'm two and two in locks of the week. I'm, I didn't sabotage. I said your locks of the week are two and two. Uh, yeah, but you should have led with I'm 13 and 12 okay. on the season, which is by far the best record on this board. Okay. I, we were talking about the locks of the week, so I just read what Can was on Can you it. confirm that statement? Yes, you are 13 and 12 when we pick against and the spread. And the best <laughs> by far record on this panel. Yes. Wisconsin. Excuse me, sorry. Ooh, I like that pick. I think Wisconsin's going to run run through Nebraska as well. I'm 3-1 and one on my locks of the week. I like Oklahoma, Texas over. I already gave it out. Give it out again. Oklahoma, Texas over 61. Red River shootout. They wouldn't call it a shootout if it wasn't a shootout. So, uh, I need a win today. for my locks of the week. I'm 1-3. and three. I did go 12-0 and 0 in the NFL last week. I know that's a different call league, show. but football is football. So eventually I'll, I'll start to get them right. in the woods. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm taking Michigan State minus 11 at home against Northwestern. Uh, Northwestern, I don't think is that good. I think they had a uh, good game against Michigan last week. Only lost There's by three. A lot of heart, lot of courage to those those men in the maize and blue. Down 17, nothing. Never blinked. Never hesitated. Yeah, never this, flinched. This game's on the road. Michigan State, I think, but uh, minus 11. Also, it's weird to see a line of 11. You're, that kind sounds of sounds like you're talking yourself out of this pick right now. No, it's why. Like I think a lot of people are just thinking Northwestern was that one good game last week. I think Michigan State. Also, just the, the line of eleven just really took me by surprise. But I'm taking Michigan State. No sense. Eleven? You don't really see eleven. Yeah, you? yeah, it's it's one more than ten. And there one is less no than rhyme 12. or reason. The, the, like seven, eight. There is no. It's they yeah. don't do it like that. I rarely see eleven. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna take Notre Dame. We talked about this already. I like Ian Book. Ooh. I know. I'm taking Notre Dame. I might, this might be one of those moments I have to eat crow next week, but well, I just really like week. you. I am three and one, and you also like you have Notre Dame who switched quarterbacks because they had a better one, and you had Virginia Tech who had to start another guy because they got hurt. I just don't like that. Notre Dame. Beamer statue game. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. Big Ed, you have a mm -hmm. lock of the week? Mm -hmm. Oh, you've I, got your mac and cheese too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got my own. There you go, Big little, uh, little bacon mac and cheese for you. Oh, okay. there you Love go. That. Okay. My lock of the week, this is a stone cold lock. Cincy, minus seven, at home versus Tulane. Did a little research. Tulane is awful, awful on the road. I actually beat Memphis last week, but. That chain looks like about choking. Him. Can you help him? Can you get him well, a little I mean, slack? It's just choking. Thank you. I'm like, I, I guess, I'm getting choking nervous. Choking it, was, it was messing up the mic, so he flipped it backwards. Oh, but, okay. Got uh, it. Yeah, I was way. nervous for you yeah. for a minute. <laughs> but this lock is as tight as my <laughs> necklace. Cincy, take it to the bank. Win by three, four touchdowns. I, I actually don't hate that letdown game. Yeah. And, and I don't know if anyone heard this at home earlier. Big Ev said A gap. Yeah. Yes. Football. Football. That means a lot. And uh, okay. Tulane, they, they beat Memphis. That was Rico Boston. Yeah. More yeah. Yeah. They're, they are a different team at home and on the road. They get yeah. crushed yeah, on the Rico road. Didn't know they hang in at home. Crazy. All right, people's top ten. What you got for I have some pretty big shakeups this week. We've got Kentucky making their way into the top ten. There we go. Big time favorite of the people. Also, BBN. Clemson falling all the way to seven that, after that's a shaky that's performance. Fair. Ohio State, if you didn't, if you guys didn't notice, up to number three. Like the people yeah, are starting to notice they're a real I team. I don't respect him. Uh, I don't right, acknowledge the them. Bottom? The bottom, a team that I think needs to be hasn't been talked about at all. UCLA is awful. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They are awful, and yeah. no one has said a word. Yes. Chip Kelly has been terrible with them. They are horrendous. Yes, yep. absolutely. Hasn't been talked about at all this year. When it, it stuck out to me when I saw it, I was like, you know, that's a great point because they are. Who's gotta ask yourself: Is Nebraska Illinois? an ass kicking away from being number one? They 
they're also atrocious. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of first year coaches on that list. Do they play each other, Rutgers, Nebraska? That was very astute, Casey. The, the toilet You're right. Ball. I mean, Arizona, Nebraska, uh-huh. UCLA. UCLA. Is that it? Uh, but they all stink. Yeah. They all stink. Yeah. Arkansas? Arkansas, yeah. Really bad. Okay. Really, really bad. All right, Big Ev, let's go back to do the top tens. Let's start, let's start wherever you want. You get to pick. Pull a big cat, go ahead. All right, what do I got? Okay, so. Um, you stood up at BYU, too. Yep. I, uh, I thought <laughs> they really showed a lot of heart going to Washington. Tough place to play. A <laughs> uh, lot of heart, a lot of guts. So, uh, no, no real shakeup. The only thing I actually, in, in fact, it, a lot of people right now are probably looking at my top ten. They're like, hey, big cat. It looks like you ran out of time and you just told Frankie, hey, Frankie, uh, I don't have time to do my top ten. Just swap in Oklahoma and swap out where Stanford was. That may be what you're thinking, but that's not what happened, even though that's exactly what happened. I don't like that BYU at two. I don't, I don't agree with that after they lost by 30 on the road at Washington for the second they lost by 20? It's either way, I don't like that two-loss <laughs> BYU okay. team at two. I All have right. a problem with that. They're tough. And still no Michigan. It's tough to lose two games and come back. Well, this is, you got to disregard when you have the BYU as two, it's tough to take it seriously. Okay. God, this dude's tall. He's a Tommy. Oh, great board, Tommy. Good board. Thank you. Oh, I mean, I'm unbiased. Mississippi State lost. They had to drop another I mean, ranking. This is becoming a mockery with these yeah. picks. They had to drop another ranking in my picks. BYU uh, lost by a million. Yeah. Mississippi State, but, and you didn't drop BYU. I dropped Mississippi State to number three. Ohio State, I might put them up to two just because they beat Penn State. And UCF just never got to any level. I they mean, you're, never lose. I mean, you're yeah. a mockery, too. So I'm yeah. putting UCF you, Both of you guys are mockery. No, you're a mockery. Huh. You don't have Ohio State in your top ten. That's I, a mockery. I am not recognizing them. That's a mockery. Relations. Okay, so that's a mockery. Go ahead and... That's and, as much a mockery as everyone else's mockery. Absolutely not. Yeah, it is. a personal reason that I value women. That's a mock. Women over football, you've been on record yeah, saying that. Yeah, that is why Ohio State, they are not eligible in my mind. Oh, that's why you have Notre Dame 3? Why? What's wrong with Notre Dame 3? I killed a kid. And that's not, I mean, there was I also guess. some things that Somebody were. There was wind involved. There was, no, I'm not even talking about that incident. I'm talking about other incidents. I don't recognize Ohio State. Just I recognize saying. Notre Dame. Interesting. Kentucky, I'm the one who recognizes them. Oh, what about false. Oklahoma? The people recognize them. No, no I know, but I've been recognized for weeks. What about yeah. Oklahoma? I have, a, I have a mate. Yeah. What about Joe Mixon? We can do this all day. Oh, what? Fair. Yeah, yeah, but Big Ab knows yeah, he's got him. But he fair. left. No, he left. No, but it's an institutional. I mean, you, no, but, oh, you no, can't but, say no, I'm no, a mockery no, no, if you no, don't no, put no, Ohio no, State in your No, yours. Mixon left. They, there's nothing new. Urban Meyer is still at Ohio State. He's still saying, the Mixon coach. Did, uh, he, the punch, I believe, was before even his career, though. Yeah. Like, he registered that he was out the whole Look, year. Look, I don't want to bring up old stuff, but I'm just saying, if you're going to tell me my top ten's a mockery, your top ten's a mockery. Because you're because you're BYU at two. BYU is tough. I'm taking a moral they stance. real tough. My, my top ten looks – that is a real top ten. Same Minus with Ohio State, but – Okay. But that's a moral no, 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 issue. No, I know. I'm just if you saying. Want to, but your moral issue, hiding domestic your moral abuse, issue bar, you is that what you want to do? Your moral no, issue bar just you floats. That. Your moral issue bar you. floats. But you can also separate the moral issue from a good football team, right? I can't. Okay. Okay. Fair. Fine. Your moral issues float. You I think mine's probably issue. the most realistic. Listen, when it's, it's, compass is it's when it's an, <laughs> you're, you're, it is when it's an, is in, in, an individual you're, you're player. Playing every every school, your compass is every going school like has individual malcontents. When the head guy at the whole school has institutional chaos and hides evidence and 911 calls and says, you can do whatever you want to women, I won't recognize it. I agree with you on that. Thank you. I stand with you on that. Casey's got Ohio a, State number three. I do. Because I can separate. <laughs> I don't like Urban Meyer, but... Uh, How could you? He hides, I mean, I don't like him either. Yeah, so I'm, I'm keeping... Oh, thank you, Ev. <laughs> <laughs> but gotta, you support, do you support him? I support the laundry. <laughs> I don't, I don't have a choice. I gotta play that's the hand so, I'm dealt. Would you wear? At what cost? Would you wear like an Urban Strong shirt or anything? No, no absolutely. That's like no. the shit at no Baylor way. that happened, like after Art Bryles got all that. People that. He was going to wear Urban. Urban no. I wouldn't wear anything. I wouldn't wear anything like signifying Urban. Okay, no, that's fair. Absolutely not. But I do have Ohio State because I think they're one of the best teams in the country. And I put Kentucky, so I'm now recognizing Kentucky oh, at number ten. Enough. They should have been. I had ten last they're week. Undefeated. They jumped the four. So last week I only did undefeated teams, so that you couldn't try to twist my words. And I keep. Penn State in there just because they should be undefeated if James Franklin didn't have a horrible play call at the end of the game. Okay. Plus, if AM knocks off Kentucky, then I'm going to start sneaking. You, uh, you, have, you have Penn State <laughs> over Michigan. Yeah. 
next week. I think Penn State's Chew loss was a next better week. loss next than week. Michigan's. At home. They lost at home. We I lost at Notre Dame. To a higher ranked team. Yeah. And they looked better than Michigan looked in that first week. Yeah. Next right. week. Next week is the Control Your Own Destiny Bowl. Michigan, Wisconsin. Yeah. And we'll be there. Both teams we, control we, their we own have, destiny. We have been controlling the fuck out of our okay, own Okay, so is Wisconsin. <laughs> we lost a game. We came back. We can start controlling our own destiny. Well, yeah, we'll see. We will be there. Yeah, we and will see. he's also controlling the narrative. We have the, ad- we the, will see. Two we two have the address. It, we will uh, see. Pete has it. Is he in your area? It's like 1,300 something. What's the address, Pete? Where it's going to be right across from the big Six house. 1,300 right? is South o'clock? Main. 1,300 South Main. This show will be live in Ann Arbor Before next week. We're starting 530? The game is 7 30. It's 7:30. literally across the street. Yeah, yeah. I figure it'll be like a half an hour show. Go, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Then, see, yeah, 6 o'clock. Yeah. yeah, so 6 o'clock. We'll let you know if it changes. But 6 o'clock, thir- what is it? 1300 Main Street. Right across. Badger, Badger, right, I need you guys to come out. South Main. South Main. 1300 is right across from the big house. Show up. If you're a Badger fan, blue. this is where we you have to be. You have to be here if you're a Badger fan. Have my back. Dave is the evil empire. He's evil. He's evil. He's in evil. Ann Arbor? We're going to be in Ann Arbor. He's evil. We're going to have some fun in Ann Arbor, Casey. I'm like looking forward to it. Yeah, we can go to Ann Arbor is not fun. In, like, two, in, th- in three Dan? inches of water, standing water. That happened yeah. once. They had a no, it didn't happen issue. once. It's a one, basement. It's a part of basement. Plum, they had one plumbing issue. Well, we'll see. We'll see you guys next week in Ann Arbor.